Alright guys, we are back. We've just completed week number four. So, if you've been going through this with me, we've been going through it now for a month. It's hard to believe a month's time has passed on. So we left off. Week four is Manhattan. Uh, it is a 1979 production. Some film facts to get going, as usual. The distributor was United Artists. The release date was April 25th of 1979. The director was Woody Allen. The writers were Woody Allen and Marshall Brickman. Producers were Charles H. Joff, Jack Rollins, and it also starred Woody Allen, Diane Keaton, Michael Murphy, and Muriel Hemingway. Um, this was not that great of a film. I would actually rather watch Julia. It, I'm really glad it's over. The whole film was done in black and white, and it's actually very very quiet. I think there's background music two or three times. Meryl Streep only appears in this film in three scenes. It's about an hour and a half long. It just wasn't wasn't the best. Um, watched this now for a week. I've now watched four of her films. I can see her growing not only as a person, but as as an actress. It got to get through some duds before you can get some good ones, right? So Meryl Streep's character. She definitely plays, and sorry for language, but she definitely plays a bitch. <laughs> wow. I really love her. She's amazing. This is even better. Um, she actually, her character was at one point married to Woody Allen, but they don't show you that. They just tell you it. And her character left Woody Allen for another woman. Surprise! I, I thought that was really cool. Meryl Streep is just, she plays cold-hearted, reserved. The... We're divorced, I don't want to talk about it. You live your life and I'll live mine. It's very, very simple. Um, it still shows that even in her early years, she is now from Julia where she appeared for five minutes and she made one little opening credit headline to... She's now in the main titles and even though she's still being shadowed by other great actors and actresses, she's still someone that we're watching out for. And I felt that was that was really great. I, I there's a reason I don't watch the '70s movies. They're just they're all they're not appealing to me. So I really can't wait to get through this book to get to the '80s and '90s and now where I actually know her films and I can have a better idea of some background history to it, as well as just just watch her grow some more. So. Hollywood was just preparing us for someone great, something, something just magical to, to happen. And I don't really have much to say about this movie. If you're a big fan of Woody Allen, I'm not. This is the only movie of Woody Allen's I've ever seen. So if, if you're a big fan of his, cool, you can watch it. Um, doing the whole movie in 1979 in black and white, it actually it, it had romantic pieces to it. Black and white. Black and white's always more romantic than anything else. So with that note, this one's going to be incredibly short. Nothing much to say about it. Uh, so for next week, week five, we are looking at the seduction of Joe Tyen. The seduction of Joe Tyen. This will be interesting. So stay tuned. Uh, please always feel free to add in your little blurps if you feel necessary on the comment section. I will see you guys next week.